welcome back. So we're here today in my shed and we're in the workshop where we're going to be taking a look at a second hand saddle. I'm going to look at a second hand saddle, check it sound, check it safe and I'm going to show you how to do it too. So sit back, make yourself a cup of tea and hopefully enjoy. Before I start, I'm going to make this really, really, really clear. This is not a replacement for a saddle fitter. No matter how you get your saddle, whether you get it secondhand on the internet, it's your mates from the yard, it belongs to your auntie's cousin's next door neighbor's fishmonger's wife. However you get your saddle, you must always, always, always get it fitted and checked by a qualified saddle fitter before you ride in it. Or at the very least, consult with your saddle fitter to see if they say it's okay for you to do so. Because no matter how well you know the person, how well you trust the person, what they say has been done to it, things can happen to saddles. They can be on uneven horses, they can have an uneven rider, they can be reflocked badly, they can be reflocked wrong, they can be reflocked to fit a horse that's not the same shape as yours. All of these things can lead to that saddle not quite being what you think it is. They can also have things wrong with them. So like what I'm going to show you today is it's me just checking for kind of stitching faults and things like that. But there could be a serious major problem in the tree or in the head or somewhere in the saddle that you can't pick up that your saddle fitter trains for so many years to learn how to pick these things up. So please don't skimp on that step. That is the most important step in having saddles is getting them checked regularly every six months at least by a qualified saddle fitter. So obviously you're going to do that, but in the meantime, you're sitting at home, you're bored, you've just bought a second hand saddle. Let's look at the things that you can look at, the places that stitching tends to wear and things like that so, so you can make sure that it's okay. Okay. I have previously done a how to make sure your saddle is safe video. So I'll pop the link up to that. Ding! So you're going to pop and watch that if you don't know those things. And there are things like about how to check that your girth straps are sound, how to check that your stirrup bars are solid, how to check your G's okay, all of those basic things. So today isn't about that, today is going to be about looking at the stitching, where the stitching tends to wear and any repairs that need doing on the stitching. So um, we're going to presume that we've already done all those quick tips, all those five tips about the kind of the really important safety aspect things. And then today is not about those things, it's about the stitching and the wear and the general wear and tear of a saddle. Because that's what's wrong with this one here. So, let's get to it. This here is a nice little, you can't see me. So this saddle here is a nice little XL jump four slash GP saddle. And the things that we're going to check on it are the places where stitching tends to go a little bit squiffy or a little bit worn or things like that. So these are the places that you need to check your stitching. The first place that I always check the stitching on a new saddle is without a doubt, your skirt straps. Once we cover that in the previous video that you know the safety things, it's always worth checking twice because they are very, very important. So underneath here, we look here and we'll see the girth straps and we'll check that the stitching on them is A, okay and on this saddle here it is absolutely a-okay so it's not lifting anywhere it's not doing anything so yes absolutely fine again on the other side the next place to check on both sides is here your knee pad so where your knee pad is stitched to the flap there's a little double layer of little double row of stitching down here and this often wears because people wear boots and their legs like this a lot and you'll see that they get wear on their saddle but they can also wear this stitching out quite badly. So this stitching here is stitching you need to check. So often this sort of comes apart at the bottom. So you need to check it's really, really nice and secure and snugly sort of stitched. I said the word stitched too many times. Um, sewn, sewn in place. So you need to check all the stitch lines. So you need to check all the stitching through here, check that it's totally stuck on and that there's no gaps. So you sort of fold that back and have a look through here and the stitching the whole way through the back of the knee pad is lovely. You come up the top here, check it at the top because sometimes it can wear at the top. 
for people that have like breastplates and things, they can attach them to their D-rings here and the breastplate itself can kind of lean and kind of rub on here and wear that little bit of stitch at the top. But all the stitching the whole way down, lovely, lovely, lovely. So we'll do that on the other side. All hunky-dory on the other side. That's that bit done. Now the next bit that I like to check is the front of the saddle. So where the head of the saddle, there's a head here. So I want to check here and I want to check that the stitching through here. So can you see through here, in here, is good. So to do that, you want to look at the front of the saddle here and you want to check that this bottom stitch, when you pull this up like this, that this bottom stitch is intact. Again there, pull it up, check that bottom stitch is intact. Checking that a bottom stitch there on both sides is intact because again, that is a stitch that has a real tendency to pop off. And it can be because people lift their flap up, do their girl straps up, lift their flap up, you know, the horse fidgets, and it puts a lot of strain into that little stitch there. We will quite often put a double or triple stitch there for that very reason, because there's a lot of strain on your saddle flap being lifted up all the time on that little bitty stitch in there. So if that pops or snaps or frays or wears, it slowly can start to come undone the whole way through the front here. So I often go and see people whose saddle is like flapping at the front. You don't want that. The next thing to check is the point in the point pocket. So this bit here is the point of the tree. This is a tree here. And we see that this here is called the point. This is a point of the tree. It's a really important part of the tree. Well, the whole tree is pretty important, isn't it? But this is a really important part of the tree and it sits in, and it sits in something called a point pocket. It's a little pocket for a point. So remember what that little point looks like. When we look underneath here, look, this here is a point of the tree. Can we see that? Point of the tree. And this little stitch line around here is called the point pocket. So it sits in there, gives it a little hug and sits it securely. So we want to check that that point is firmly and snugly snugged up into that little point pocket. I've got a saddle over there. So this here is a little, uh, another saddle and this saddle came in for repair because its point has fallen out of its point pocket. Its pocket is pointless. Oh, wouldn't you? So its pocket has no point in it, and that's because the point is just hanging out by itself. We see that there? And we see that, that is the point of the saddle. So this has got a little leather end on it. So what happens sometimes, what happens sometimes is on the bottom of the point, you see there's a little hole that, um, drilled in there. That's to put, sometimes they put, they put a little bit of leather on the bottom to make it a little bit more flexible as a point. So that's what that is there. That's a leather point. And that point has come out of its point pocket. So if you can see your point like that, and it's not in its point pocket, then it needs fixing. Now that happens because people don't look after their tack usually. So it happens because, so can we see here, if I was to pile this saddle in the back of my car and squish it on the side, so this one's still in its pocket. So if I was to do that, it puts an awful lot of strain through that little pocket there and because of that sometimes the little pocket because it's only made out of leather stretches boing and out pops your point so for that reason you should only ever transport your saddle carefully have you seen those things i think they're called saddle mates they're like a plastic kennel like a dome that you can put your saddle on they're really good for putting your saddle in your car and also equally when you put your saddle on a saddle rack make sure you don't catch the sweater flap. So a lot of people put the saddle on the saddle rack and they catch the sweater flap and it goes up underneath like that. And because of that, that puts a lot of strain to the point pocket. Also, sometimes you see in tap rooms, you see people with like that, you know, saddles wedged in really tight together and they sort of squeeze each other. And again, that squeezing action just puts a lot of strain through that little pocket. It's trying desperately to hold on to its little point, but it can't, it's strained all the time because it is, it's leather, it's made out of leather. And leather, as we all know, stretches. So if it stretches, your point pops out, you're screwed. That is usually, that usually happens because of a saddle not being looked after properly. Next place to check is at the back here. This here is called a skirt. Do you know that skirt? Check up underneath your skirt and you get to a little stitch here. Now it's not all saddles have this stitch here. Um, most do, but not all of them do. And then you, behind this little stitch that's stitching your skirt down here at the back, you lift the back of your skirt up 
who were misses. And you look at the stitching in here. Now this stitching should all be attached in there and all the way around the back. You want to check the stitching is solid. So, so this here is what's called the facing, this kind of like tube of leather, you see it? Um, so you need to kind of pull that down and look at the stitching in there. Now I have to say the stitching in the back of the saddle does look a little bit scary sometimes um, because it looks a little bit, it looks a little bit kind of basic, like you think, oh my God, is that? the care they've taken on my saddle but I promise you they are big stitches in the back there and they're done with really thick threads so they do look a little bit clumpy but they're meant to look like that what they're not meant to look like however it is like that you see there panel this bit here is coming away from the tree that bit there that's because the stitching here has worn through we can even see the little worn through end if we put it through there you see that so that's what, so that's where this stitching goes. It goes all the way here through the back. Yeah. So it's what holds the tree onto the panel. So I've done a full reflop video where you can see how this all gets stitched back up. But that there shouldn't be unattached. And sometimes when they're loose, you get that little bit of movement in there. As, as soon as you get a little bit of movement in the panels like that, the saddle stops sitting evenly. So it's imperative that you get this sorted as soon as you notice it. So if you notice your stitching coming loose or a, a bit of stitching has snapped, wherever it is on the saddle, um, get it checked. But if you notice it here at the back or here at the front, that's to do with the integral sort of structure of your saddle. So you have to 100% make sure that you get it checked out and fixed ASAP. Don't ride in it. If it's loose here or loose here, no riding. No idea for you. One last place that I like to check the stitching, and it seems odd because you can't think you don't think there's any stitching there, is underneath. So underneath your panel here, believe it or not, there is stitching inside here. So you don't need to be able to, you don't need to put your hand in there and then physically check the stitching as such. But if you look down the line here, because if one of the stitches internally inside there goes, you get a bit of a bulge come through here. Almost like your flocking is trying to escape out the side, a little bit like my post Christmas muffin top. You get a bit of a muffin top coming out the side here. So, if you have any kind of a bulge here, it can often mean that your stitching internally is a little bit loose and you need to get that sorted because, again, that will get worse and fray and then your panel will open and again it will sit lopsidedly. You don't want a lopsided saddle. So, if your stitching on your girth strap is loose or worn, get it fixed. If you're stitching around your knee pad, or your thigh pad is worn, ah, get it fixed at some point, but it's not essential as long as it's not falling off. Um, if you're stitching anywhere else is loose, so like through here or through your, um, through your keeper or something like that, then yeah, get it fixed at some point. But if your stitching is loose through the head here, through the back of the panel here, or underneath, then you really, really, really need to get it sorted before you ride in it. I'm going to stitch this back up now and get it back to its new owner so she can ride in it and enjoy it because it's a really lovely saddle. So if you're interested in today's video, there's a chance you might also be interested in the full reflock video, which is where, surprise, surprise, I strip and reflock a whole saddle and sew it back together again. I'll put a link to that in the comments below. And then also you might be interested in like the five things to look for to make sure your saddle is safe to ride in. I'll also put a link to that in the comments below. Otherwise, there's loads of other videos about saddles, saddle fitting, um, how to find your horse's last rib, what sort of saddles that cobs should wear, things like that. So hop along. Um, enjoy them. Don't forget to subscribe and like and leave as many comments as you possibly can because I love a good comment. So I am spending the whole of lockdown pretty much in my shed. So if you have any ideas, things that you want to see or saddles you want to see dissected, anything like that, then give me a shout. The plans for this week are to do a dissection on a Wintex saddle so that we can see inside of the saddle. <laughs> A synthetic saddle and also looking at girth straps the difference between um girthing on saddles so like ones that's got three straps five straps different straps stuff like that in the meantime it's been absolutely amazing spending this time with you um i love that i can bring you along and do all these little things and i can't wait to spend some more time with you in the future so until then please stay safe everybody stay safe take care and lots of love